Okay, so welcome to a quick video, hopefully, uh, where I'm going to go over a few things with you guys about the channel. Now, the first thing I want to go over is a couple of weeks ago, uh, I finally set up the P.O. Box. Um, so if you are someone who wants to send me a reel to test, uh, now you're able to do so. You can just send it right to my P.O. Box. Now, I'm only telling you guys this now because... Um, the first thing I wanted to do was I wanted to contact all the manufacturers to see if they could send me some reels, um, like a loaner reel or loaner reels, to test out and then send back. Now only a couple of them got back to me, and unfortunately uh, none of them have any kind of demo reels that uh, they loan out for uh, reviewers to test out. So now uh, I'm reaching out to anyone who's got... Uh, any nice reels if you want to uh, send them for me to test I'd really appreciate it and I'm gonna go over a list of the reels that I would love to test okay now first of all starting with Daiwa I would love to test out the new Steez T-Wing um, the SV version or the A version or both if anybody uh, wants to send me one and you can do without it for a month or two for me to test out. I would love to test out the new Steez Team Wing system. And the next reel from Daiwa that I would really love to test out is the Zillion Team Wing system or TWS SV. Now I've heard really good things about this reel. I heard it's a super long caster and I really would love to try one out. Put it up against uh, some of the Shimano's I have. Um, so if anyone has a Daiwa Zillion TWS SV, um, uh, hit me up. Now, here's a reel that's pretty rare. It's only available in Japan, but if you've got one and you uh, wouldn't mind sending it in to be tested, it's the Daiwa Z2020. Now, let's go over the Abu Garcias I would love to test, and there's a bunch of them. Um, the new Revo MGX2, I would love to test that. Put it up against the uh, All Baron 50, uh, the MG Extreme. I would love to test that one out as well. I've read good things about its casting. Uh, I would love to test out the new Premier, the Revo 4 Premier, or the Revo 4 STX. Now, the reason I want to test them out is because um, I hear they have a new braking system where you can lock the braking arms just like the Shimano. Um, that give you uh, more adjustability. So I would love to try them out if anyone's got those you're willing to send it in to be tested. And uh, let's get to the Shimano's. Now the first one I want to test out of course is going to be the 2016 Antares DC. Um, I mean it's the top of the line Shimano. Of course I want to get my hands on one and test it out. Um, the 2017 new Exynos DC. I would love to get my hands on that one. I would love to test out the Metanium DC. Maybe test it out against the Scorpion to see if there's any kind of difference between it and the Scorpion DC. The new Calcutta Conquest 2014 version and up. And I would love to try out the 2012 Antares. And uh, there are some lubes that I would love to try out as well. But now the first one is the new BB-1 Pro. Um, I've heard good things about the BB-1 Pro in general. How it's probably like one of the longest captures out there, and I would love to try that out. The Custom Pro Speed Spool it looks like uh, the one with the wind grips, um, and the Hyper Mag Speed Spool, which looks to be their new top of the line low profile bay caster. It looks pretty slick. So those are a list of the reels I would love to test out. Um, email me at the email address given, uh, realtested at gmail.com and uh, we will work something out. As a thank you to anyone that sends a reel in to be tested, um, when I send it back to you, I will try to include a set of upgraded bearings um, for your as a thank you for your trouble of letting me use your reel for a couple of months. 
Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about are some popular questions that I get in the comments section. Now the first question I want to go over is, am I going to test out the Concept Z? And of course the answer is yes. Now the problem is the Concept Z is not available yet and it's not going to come out until January 21 as you can see. So yes, I'm going to test them out as soon as they come out and uh, we can see what those new bearings do that have no balls in them. Okay, now the next question I want to go over with you guys is a pretty important one. A lot of people want to know where to buy reels or tackle in general from Japan. Now the shops that I like to use are um, Japan Lure Shop, the uh, Digitaka site. Now, Digitaka offers free shipping on reels. Um, Japan Pro Fishing. I found a new site called Tackle Japan. And of course, Japan Tackle is one that's trusted. Now, the reason I use these these uh, sites is because they go by um, their prices are dependent on the exchange rate and they're usually the cheapest places to get them now what I mean by the exchange rate is uh, the exchange rate fluctuates literally on a daily basis so the prices can really go up and down by the week or by the day sometimes but generally you're not going to find any cheaper places than that and another reason I use them is because they take PayPal and PayPal generally will protect you from fraud in case the place you bought or ordered your reel from or whatnot um, just took your money and didn't send you anything and any place that takes PayPal is going to be some place trustworthy especially if you take a credit card it's going to be trustworthy because your credit card um, should protect you. Now some places, the places to avoid. Now I don't have any shops in general that I avoid but I can tell you this if you're shopping around on the internet for tackle from overseas and you find a, a website where the prices are too good to be true and they only take a bank transfer as a form of payment then stay away from that. It's the 99.9% .9 a fraudulent site that's just going to take your money and you're not going to get a real. So remember that. If the place has prices that are too good to be true and they only take a bank transfer as a form of payment, then stay away. Now as far as getting tackle from Japan um, and customs fees. Now, if the vendor sends you your items using EMS, which is like the worldwide postal service, you will not get charged a customs fee. So, generally they use EMS for you know small things like reels, lures, line, things like that. And sometimes they'll send rods EMS depending on the shop. Now, if the shop sends you a rod that's you know over a certain length and EMS won't take it, they'll generally send it through FedEx or UPS, and that's when you generally will be hit with a customs fee, which is going to be, I guess, a percentage of the value. Um, I've only paid customs twice on a couple of rods that I ordered, but the rest, um, they come through EMS, and I've paid no customs fee. So buying from Japan, absolutely nothing to worry about if you stick to a reputable shop. And uh, yeah, so a lot of cool tackle in Japan that's not available here that um, that you're able to access. So yeah, um, now if you can, if you remember the little picture I had there, uh, I have a big six-way ninety-nine dollar reel shootout coming within the next couple of weeks. I've already have five of the reels. I'm waiting for one more. Now, I'm not going to tell you which ones they are, but you're going to have to wait to see. Now the reason I'm doing it now is because I know Christmas is coming up and a lot of 
guys are gonna be uh, looking uh, at these reels for Christmas presents. So hopefully I'll be able to do most if not all of the testing and help you guys make the best decision for yourselves with the $99 reel shootout. So if you know any guys who are looking at reels in this price point, you know, tell them to sub to my channel, check out my videos, and uh, check out the uh, shootout when it comes. Okay guys, uh, once again, if you want to send me a reel, send me an email to realtested at gmail.com and I'll send you the P.O. box. And as a thank you, I'll see if I can uh, send you some upgraded bearings with your reel when I send it back to you. Alright guys, thanks a lot.